I decide to skip dinner with Mom and go to George's place. Yeah, it's a bit of a haul for a greasy spoon. Thing is, on Friday and Saturday nights, Bill optimistically calls the joint a roadhouse and has a decent band in. Plus, Linny waits tables while her old man tends bar. Sometimes I go just to look at her. Mostly, though, I dig the band. There's nothing these dudes can't play, although I swear to God I want to scream every time some drunken biker requests Free Bird, which happens at least once a night. George's place is not what you'd call upscale, so I don't bother to change my clothes. Mom says goodbye, and to tell Bill she says hello. She's never surprised when I head over the hill for Roadhouse night. So I get there, and right away I notice that Linny's been to see the Gleason Street hair dude. She's got her hair up in this, I don't know, pretzel type deal? It's all twisted and braided and pinned up. She's wearing black pedal pushers. I only know what these are because she told me. And a matching turtleneck with these bright red plastic dangly earrings that match her lipstick and her shoes. I feel like a sparrow who showed up at a parrot party. No wonder Mom says Linny is a force of nature.